All right, what's up people? For improving overhead mobility, we are going to do some overhead pails and rails and some overhead passive range liftoffs. I have a PVC pipe. You can use a broom or any sort of stick that you have in your house. You can also just do this on a high surface that you can elevate your hand on, but I find the stick is the best way to go. If you haven't looked up shoulder external rotation pails and rails yet, then I suggest that you go do that or external rotation, any sort of work that we have. But that is step number one in kind of getting a better shoulder. And then step two is gonna be this overhead flexion work. You can work them at the same time, but we just don't wanna be chasing purely overhead goals without ever working rotation. So let's get to work. We're going to start with, we'll just do the right arm and then you can just rewind and watch again if you want to. But we're gonna start with the hand kind of up near the top here. And then I'm just gonna drop my shoulders down to get me in the most overhead position that I could be in. You'll notice from here that I really can't move my arm any higher. That is the perfect place to start for a pails and rails contraction. If you don't know pails and rails, then maybe go watch the pails and rails video that I have, but I will try and break it down for you right here. So if you're someone that needs pails and rails, it's likely that you need just more range of motion. Well, you do need more range of motion. So we're gonna ideally hold this position for upwards of two minutes before we do our pails and rails contraction. I'm not gonna show you that just for time's sake, but let's assume I held for two minutes and then we're gonna start our pails and rails. So with that, what that's going to look like is you're gonna just start putting a little bit of pressure into the ground. So if this pole had a weight under it, it's reading two pounds of pressure. We're slowly gonna build up the intensity in that contraction, working our way towards the hardest push that we can do. We're gonna take 10 seconds to get there, so we're just slowly building an intensity as those seconds go by. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pushing pretty hard here, nine, 10, push as hard as you can for five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, don't move anything, hold on to the pole if you need to, now you're trying to pull your arm further overhead for five, four, three, two, one, we'll relax. And we'll do another pails and rails in our new overhead position. Ready again, another 10 second push to a five second all out contraction. Starting light, slowly working our way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, create tension and push down to our safest, greatest effort. Five, four, three, two, one, stay in place. Now try to lift the arm further overhead, dropping the chest down further if you can. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Good, go ahead, semi-relax here. Again, there shouldn't be a ton of motion on that rails contraction, which is part number two. So now that we have a little bit more overhead motion, we're gonna just come about five degrees out of overhead motion, and we're gonna use the pole to slide ourselves back into active range. We're just gonna do five of these here. One, come down. Two, really pushing that border of control. Keep the arm straight. Three, four, and five. Good. Repeat that on the other side. Those are two FRC slash kin stretch exercises that you can do to get stronger in overhead positioning. Let me know what you think.